Hey everyone, welcome to Nicole's Needlework. Today is Sunday, January 14th, and it's right around 11.45 a.m. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff again, and I'm in my dining room because my husband is upstairs taking a nap. He couldn't sleep very well last night. So anyway, um, I've been going through my stash. I've been clearing out stuff I know I'll never stitch. Projects I know I'll never get back to so thanks again to everyone who bought stuff from me on stash and load It will go out on Tuesday because tomorrow is a holiday here in the US um, So when we had our snow days, I was um, Stuck in the house for like four or five days um, Because the ice just wasn't melting. It was so cold um, and there was nothing to do but um, online shop <laughs> so I I spent I got Christmas money and I basically spent all my Christmas money um, I wanted to save it to get some things framed and um, save it for when market comes out but um, I just kept clicking or tapping buy buy on my iPad or on my computer um, it was really bad but I got a lot of neat stuff and um, I actually sold a couple things I bought that I didn't like when it arrived, some fabric. So um, that's all good. Um, so, uh, gosh, I don't even know where to start. I guess I could start with, hold on, I'm gonna reach way over here. Okay, I'll start with what I've been working on. And I started Frosty, or Jolly Happy Soul on the day we got all this snow. And I just had a little bit done, and I still don't have much done. I got the wards and the snowman. And I think this linen is the 36 count Parisian taupe. And I think it's a silk waiver. I got it from Shepherd's Bush when I was gonna do all the houses, the ABC sampler houses. But I decided not to do those, and I sold my patterns on Stash and Load. So that's all I have of that. And for that, I am using my threads. all the called for cotton over dyes, general arts, classic color works. And then I worked a little more on my Mary Bovey and that crazy murky linen. I don't really have a lot to show, but my border is done, well, almost done, and it matched, so that's good. So this is 32 count, so it's it's easy to work on um, at work when I'm uh, meeting up with my stitch and friend Candace, and I'm just using the call for gentle arts. And speaking of my stitching friend Candace, she got me this sweet little um, oops upside down um, needle holder and just like little accessory holder and it has these little inserts where you can put your needles in this little thing I, I cut from some cardboard and it's a two by two inch square so that's what I used to start my fabric out it's like a Vera Bradley thing I can't even remember get some more needles my scissors and this is one thing I got from Amy at Down, Sun Down Sunshine Lane it's a little needle minder it's so cute Little kitty, it's the Puffin um, products. So thank you again, Candace. She doesn't watch my videos, but I don't know why I'm thanking her here. <laughs> but anyway, I love it. It's Lantern Moon, um, which they do a lot of knitting products. But that was very sweet of her to think of me. She got it when she was in New York City. Um, I'm not sure. If I worked on Smith Sampler at all since I last um, did a video, but that's where I am. I really want to get this finished. I really want to get it framed. 
So now that I have some money from Stash and Load, I can use that to get it framed. So exciting. So let's see. And that again is 40 count vintage meadow rue with the call for silk threads. So that's all I've been working on. Not much work because we had, I mean, I was gone for over two weeks because of the holidays and snow days. So I was really catching up at work. It was a lot. And then my youngest son was in a play and the show was in downtown Charleston. Well, it's a beautiful theater on right on King Street, but um, it was a lot of going downtown to take him for practices and then twice for the show. So I felt like I wasn't home all week. So not a lot of stitching. Um, the play's over, so hopefully we can start getting back to normal. All right, so stash. I have a lot um, around me. <laughs> uh, I don't even know where to begin. Okay, I placed an order with Amy from Down Sunshine Lane. I got this, and I got the threads. Well, some of the threads. And I had this 36 count ale that it's called for, and it was the perfect size, so that worked out good. And this is Plum Street Sampler House 5. And I, I sent a picture to my friend Carrie in Florida, and I told her I blame this on her because she had this all kitted up, and it looks so cute. So um, I had to order it. Okay, so I also got from Amy, um, a large piece of 40 count legacy linen from Picture This Plus. She had a special cut for the Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I don't think I'll do it on that, but it was a nice size. It was like 20 by 20 or 21 by 20, something like that. Um, and then I got that little needle minder for her, from her. So then... Um, Let's see, I placed an order with Needle Case Goodies, and I got this, uh, Winter ABCs, and I got the linen, and um, I got the red. I had the other threads. That's what that is. Um, I also, from Needle Case Goodies, I got this one. So, and that was, the day of the snow. <laughs> now, since the snow lasted so long, I don't think I want to see snow again for a long time. Um, let's see, from 123 Stitch, I got Sarah Comfort 1810. And um, I put this in my cart, and then I realized it was one of Faye's samplers on her sampler wall. So. I think it's so pretty and it just calls for um, two skeins of a uh, needlepoint ink silk in black or you could do DMC so very pretty um, also from 123 stitch I love this Janet Spears 1813 and this is a Scottish sampler and I'm really into the Scottish samplers lately and you can tell they're Scottish because they do their alphabets red and green. And it says it on here, of course. Um, but love this. And I just needed one skein of the Belle so. And this is by Needlework Press. Um, from Stitch and Frog, I got... A new GGR and this is Martha S. Scott 1876 it's really cute um, a lot of people are stitching it on Facebook you can see um, pictures of it actually stitched this is the original sampler um, Donna on Instagram uh, I mentioned that I love this and it's Friends of the Heart by Plum Street. And she sent it to me, which was so sweet of her. I love this sampler. Donna on Instagram. Did I say Facebook? 
Instagram. Donna, sorry, Donna, I um, don't have your last name in front of me, but uh, it's very sweet of her. So that one, definitely want to stitch this year. Um, let's see. Oh. So here's one face stitched. Ragamuffin number two by Shakespeare's Peddler. And Teresa has shown this in her video. One of her videos. And it's such a sweet Quaker sampler. And there's the original. Um, I have 40 count vintage light exemplar in here. But I pulled from my stash some lentil, vintage lentil 40 count. And I think I might use that instead. Let's see if I can do this without all the threads falling. It's really pretty neutral. Um, and thank you to my mom who went to Silk Road Needle Arts to get me these threads. Well, not all of them, but some of them. Um, it calls for Gloriana Floramel Antique Black. Well, I already have, Floramel is the is the Soie d'Alger dyed, they dye themselves. I have the Soie d'Alger in just plain black. So I think I'm gonna, just gonna use that. And then it called for Gloriana um, Vanilla. And I have this Soie d'Alger in Brut, or Brut, I don't know how you pronounce that. So I think I'm just gonna use those. So, very pretty. Um, let's see. Oh, for this sampler, Anna Thies, or Thies, not exactly sure how you pronounce it. I went ahead and got the DMC, and I had some linen in my stash. little sampler it calls for a lot of DMC so and this linen is probably lentil or pearl barley it's just a pretty neutral and for fractor friends I was thinking of using 28 count black Lugana and doing it over one with the DMC. Because this is done on 40 count gauze over one and all the black is filled in. So I was thinking of saving some time and doing it that way. And for my wool project. I started a little bit because I just wanted to see how it would be using the wool. And I like it. It's definitely different. It's really thick and this is 28 count. I'm just using one strand over two. Um, and this is a Scottish sampler also I think. I have to read it. Maybe it's not. I could be wrong. But that's Janet Reed, 1835. Well, I guess it doesn't say what kind. I guess I assume because of the, but it's got all different colors in there. So. The only thing is they had different dye lots of the Buckeye Scarlet, but I got the three that matched. And I'm wondering if that's too bright, but now that I see it again, I think it's gonna be fine. So. Um, let's see, I think. 
wasn't too bad. Oh, it's going through my stash of old magazines and everything. I have some of these old fine lines and I actually ordered the kit for this and I've had it for several years and I got it out. It's beautiful hand dyed cream linen. It's called Castle Stone from Exemplars of the Heart. Exemplars from the Heart. That's the people who designed this also dyed the linen. And I have these uh, limited edition silk threads to go with it. So one of these days I'll get that finished. Um, let me double check, but I, oh my, cause I didn't get to go to uh, the Needler. My very sweet friend Karen picked up some threads for me. Thank you so much, Karen. And she picked up, sorry. She picked up, I asked her to get some of these jingle charts because I saw them there last time and she was able to get me four. Not sure where the other one went to, but thank you so much, Karen. And I got the last two tingles charts I was needing from one, two, three stitch. And, um, hold on. And I dyed up some linen. This is just a 40 count antique white. And I just um, coffee dyed it, but I didn't use as much coffee. And I didn't leave it in the oven for very long, like 10 minutes maybe. So I used less coffee, less tea. Like I used a quarter cup of the instant and maybe like four big tea bags. And I didn't leave it in the pot as long because I didn't want it very dark, but I'm happy with how that turned out. And then I had some exemplar, um, regular light exemplar, and I didn't like the color. It was just too peachy and pinky. It, it wasn't that pretty. So I coffee dyed it and I think it turned out good. And you can see I have a little tiny start on that. Um, but I think it turned out nice. Not sure what I'm gonna do with those yet. Um, oh, also while I was going through my stash, or my, yeah, going through my linen stash and my stash, I had started uh, Stacy Nash's summer at Hollyberry Farm on this 35 count linen. And I stopped stitching it and was thinking of doing it on 40 count, but I think I'm gonna continue on this linen. I think it looks really pretty and I've got so much done. So I'm gonna continue on this linen instead of using another piece of linen and wasting that. And then I got back out Francis Poole and I was kind of on the fence. Do I wanna finish this? Do I not? Do I sell it? But I think I'm gonna finish it. So, there's my Francis. I think I'm gonna get this done this year. And this is, I think, 40 count vintage light exemplar. So I wanna get that done. And then I was thinking of selling this chart. And it's a cute one from Hands, Hands to Work. I got it quite a while ago. And then I noticed there was linen in the back. I was like, huh, I guess I could sell the linen. And then I noticed I had stitched on it. I think this is 40 count pair from Lakeside Linens. So I was thinking, well, that's really cute. Maybe I will finish this one also. All right, so. I think that is it. I have a couple more things on stash and load that just a few patterns that have not sold yet. I decided to sell this because I realized I'm never going to stitch it. So we'll see if those sell. If not, I'll put them back on reduced prices. And then one thing I put on stash and load, but it's also not selling, but I think it's really cute is this St. Peter's Fair kit. 
A lot of cute little specialty stitches, cute colors. Um, so I think I'm gonna put, uh, use this as my giveaway. This sweet kit, and I'll take everything out. So it comes with the 32 count lamb's wool linen. And all the Soie d'Alger silks needed to stitch it. And if you haven't ever stitched with silks, this might be a good time to try it out. Or specialty stitches. Um, the band sampler has a lot of specialty stitches. And then it comes with the little beads and button, little star button and needles. And then Shepherd's Bush always puts in a little thread organizer for you. So you can organize your threads on there. And then you get the pattern. And the pattern, this is the main pattern. Sorry, I punched holes in it because I had it in a binder. Um, there's your thread list. And then it tells you um, what colors to use for back stitching. And then it goes through every single specialty stitch with directions. So you get detailed instructions. And they're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun to do. I've just had this in my stash forever. I know I'm not gonna stitch it. So I might as well pass it on. So that's St. Peter's Fair by Shepherd's Bush. Um, really cute kit. And that's gonna be my giveaway. So um, let's see. To enter the giveaway, um, just let me think, what would be good? Uh, tell me your favorite sampler. Um, tell me, or your favorite sampler, or your favorite designer, sampler designer. Um, I think that'll be good. And don't mention giveaway, be a subscriber, and I will pull a winner probably in um, a week or two before my next video. And that's it. I uh, hope you guys have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.